Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Life is Strange. Yeah, that's right, we're going to be doing a Let's Replay of Episode 5, whether you like it or not, bitch. <sighs> so, we're um, we're doing this on our save file, as I mentioned before, um, and we're doing this because I wanted to go over it again from a, from a different perspective, a new lens, so to say, because last time was a blind playthrough of episode 5, and all the other episodes I did were not blind playthroughs. So let's take this from uh, the perspective I took of all the other episodes, you know? Having uh, foreknowledge. Foresight. So yeah, let's go. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! Whoa. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. I guess I don't have to actually be anyone. quiet over this because we've seen this before. So, you know if you want to no, see this quietly, Chloe, go watch the other playthrough. Know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Okay, this uh, seems. No wonder. Oh, can't do anything right now. It seems too loud still. So I changed the settings and everything, Nathan but. Is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Wasn't the first. Maybe I didn't like set it All up properly and it get reset. Ideas. I don't know. What are you doing here, Max? I don't know. What am I doing here, bitch? Fuck off. Best. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, shouldn't have saved your ass. Why is he putting her in the Ungrateful ground? slut. Where the junkyard? <laughs> <laughs> we have oh, this 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 let's replay is gonna be a lot more just. Uh, I'm just gonna be fucking around, honestly. Rachel, like who gives a shit, right? <laughs> We've done it before, but, like, you know, who gives a shit? We've seen all this before, I don't have to fucking be all serious and shit, I'll just be like, fuck you guys, you know? Fuck everyone, fuck all of you, fuck this, fuck you, fuck you, Chloe, fuck you, Max, go fuck yourself, fuck you, Nathan. Y'all suck dick. In the ass. Oh. No, Chloe! Oh no, you're about to get shot, Oh. Oh no, Chloe. I've suddenly developed wheelchair syndrome. So, I can't do anything. Can't walk. That's what's called wheelchair syndrome. And yes, if this is if this is see, it's a story-based game that features player choice. Yeah, I'm not reading that again. Who gives a shit? I've been through this before, and I believe this time the screen format should be fine. Problem before was, oh well. Problem before was, was I'm using Movie Maker because you know like I don't really need the pro stuff and the pro stuff is also kind of screwed up for me. Get into that another time. But uh, Movie Maker only accepts up to 1080p because it's Movie Maker, <laughs> and I guess. And um, yeah. So and last time and now I I'm I'm on a 1900 by 1200 monitor now, so it couldn't take the video properly. So that's why the screen format was kind of screwed up. It wasn't full screen. And this is, I don't know if it's going to be full screen either, but it's going to, it might be like a little bit of black bars there, but it's like not too much, so it looks nice. Like, I'm seeing it right now as I'm playing, like, because the resolution is slightly lower than my monitor, so, but yeah. So, it, the, the the screen is a little bit lower than full screen, but it's just, just like tiny black bars. Like, it kind of looks cool, it kind of looks cinematic, to be honest. It's kind of like how you, like, when you go to a movie theater like, or something, I don't know. Whatever. Whatever! Fucking camera. Fucking camera and shit. Fuck this shit, bitch. Fucking taking shots at me. Fucking spying on me. I'm not getting naked for you. And I'm not taking my shoes off either. Just some sexy shoes. I'm not taking them off. I don't know what the fuck I'm rambling on about. Okay. Um. Let's just hear Max talk. Because this, this is what is telling for me. When Max talks here, if it's too loud... Then I know. It's too loud. Because if it's too loud for me to hear my own voice, then I figure it's probably, you know, like, a good audio configuration we have going here. Come on, Max, wait your stupid ass up. I thought Victoria was there right away. Well, I guess... Chloe? Right, so I didn't actually interact with Victoria Where? last time. Uh, Where? So that'll be happening this time. There's a lot of things I missed. There's some things I missed. In the dark room. We'll be going over more things this time, and we'll probably talk about some more things. Since we've been through the game now, I want to I kind of get my thoughts on 
how I feel about everything that happens. I kind of developed my own theory. I played this game through a second time already, I'll admit. Um, and when I did, I did kind of develop a theory for it. So, um, oh, the hell? There you go. Of course. Right in front of me. Your goddamn cell phone, Max. Great. The one time you're not being I a social media whore. Hands, I can't grab it. All right. God, I don't remember anything that happened. It must have been because that syringe. Drug made the news on Kate. <laughs> oh shit. That's a pretty good idea. It's a pretty good guess. In fact, it was. Me. We fucking know that already. Um. Yeah, he took a picture. What did you expect? He probably took hundreds of pictures of you. I mean, goddamn, Max. You wonder how many of them he probably fapped to? In the meantime, I mean, he had a lot of hours. We've been, we've been down for at least a few hours. Finally, I'm free. You could probably pull off, Almost. like, at least two. At least two, you know. Two different sessions. If I could Give or take. Towards me. Um, so... Oh shit, I actually got the right one. I thought I was going for the arm there, the hand. Okay. Whoopsies. I guess I don't need to go through all of them again, because we already know, and that would be a waste of time. So, let's just... pull this shit. Get this shit over with. It's actually not a very long part, there's not too much around. I guess you wouldn't expect there to be too much that you could really look at. We've already been here before in episode 4 anyway, but... Okay... Um... Yeah, so I developed the theory. I don't know if the theory is good. Like, I kind of stopped thinking about it after I kind of... thought about it for, like, the night. After I fully thought about it for a while, and... I kind of came up with a couple of little inconsistencies, but... Uh, shit. What am I doing? I chose to ignore them for the time being, so... What am I doing? I hate looking at myself oh. like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Um... I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. I guess no matter which ending you pick, he kind of does. I mean, I don't know, like, what do you think... Uh... It's possible he survived in the save... Chloe one, in the Sacrifice Arcadia Bay one. It's possible he survived there. I don't know. Because he was in the bunker where the, where the police caught him. He might have already been out at that point, but why would they go in such a huge tornado storm? But that would mean the police would have survived too, so I don't know. I was a little bit disappointed, to be honest with you. I, as as you know, I thought Mr. Jefferson had like a, a huge, a, a much more important Stay angle to all this. Still. You know, I thought he f was fucking. He knew about like some of this, all this time travel shit, and like he was somehow responsible for what was going on, or he had some connection to it in some way, beyond just being a. Max, you fucked up my shot. Beyond just being like a person. Please don't beyond just being like a person in reality like everyone else, you know. You were special the second I saw you first. <sighs> you know, just I still hate that word. Just a but I love the purity of your own image. An ignorant figure you. just like everyone else. I mean, ignorant might be the Jesus. wrong word, but yeah. Oh, yeah I mean. Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. Should I maybe Maybe just a little bit. Okay. But yeah, I thought he was going to be a lot more important to the whole thing. Like, there seemed to be hints in there. Like, you know, saying that Max was special and all this. She has a gift. You know, he's like the first person we see after the nightmare in episode one, in the beginning. Thanks, Max. If only all these clues and hints. Like, you tried so hard. and then... But you can't just throw a few subjects around. And then the fact that he, like, injected her with the thing... At the end of, with the syringe, at the end of episode 4. 
I thought that was very convenient that he would have happened to get Max first. Or just having to get Max with that. Um, who had the time travel, time travel abilities, and then that was affected by the syringe. You know, I figured that was deliberate. Like, he knew, and then that's why he went for her first. But apparently that was all just convenient coincidence, you know? All just total convenience for him. He seems to win in most realities, too. That's kind of funny. <laughs> But apparently the real reality, you know, the way it, sh it was, I guess, supposed to go without our time travel abilities was the way he, 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 sorry, he, he would have lost there. And he did it if he picked the sacrifice Chloe ending, so. Like, he actually would have, he actually would have been caught just normally. Because he decided to include Nathan in his operations for some reason. I never, I didn't really understand why he even bothered with that. That seemed like kind of a stupid mistake. Kind of a stupid thing to do because Nathan seems to be like uncontrollable and he's not like a clever. He's not like some clever fucking you know serial killer, <laughs> like Jefferson or Hannibal Lecter or some shit. Like what? He seemed like the typical like. Move so much. I need you posed and typical psychotic, you know. Maybe a new dose will calm you down. Uh, I'll just give her the dose already. Look at that. Shut her bitch ass up. Hurt much. Hurt much. Did she mean a lot? Get your grammar straight. Hey! She is a stupid bitch, but that's that's no reason to be mean like that. See, see what I mean? Like he says stuff like that. But then when he says something like this, it becomes a little bit more apparent that he doesn't really know what's going on, and that really disappointed me. I I, I thought he would, and I I was hoping that that would have been. So, can you imagine like how amazing that would have been? Episode five was like a time race between uh, Max and Mr. Jefferson somehow. You know what I mean? Like, Max kept going back in time, or forward in time, or whatever, and, like, just having, like, this huge race of Mr. Jefferson to, like, change reality and all this, or something. You know, it doesn't have to be like that, but I'm just saying, like, that's, that's an example. I thought that's kind of how it was going to go, honestly. And I think I saw, there, I didn't really see too many thoughts of that being expressed afterwards, although I didn't look too far, but... I did see a couple people like asking, like, does Jefferson know about all this? And some people think thought he did. He was he did know about all this. But apparently he didn't. That was really disappointing. But, you know, it happens. You know, the writers don't know I mean, obviously there's so many possibilities and you're not gonna get exactly what you want from the writers. Sometimes very much to a fault, in my experience with a lot with watching a lot of T V and all that. Jefferson, very much to a fault. A lot of time, Good. but now I think I writers often screw up with their thing, with their ideas. I'm not saying that Life is Don't Nod really did here. I mean, I felt like they could have been a lot better if they did it the way I, th I thought it was going to go, but it, I still was satisfied overall the way it turned out. I could try this way. There were some friends of mine that... Well, there's... Really like there's one friend of mine who definitely face. didn't like it as much. The endings, at least. Which, I mean, I don't know. I thought the Sacrifice Chloe thing was satisfactory. For the most part. The Sacrifice Arcadia Bay was a little bit weird. It was a little bit too... There wasn't enough to it. Like, it was like, what? <laughs> like, that would totally... I don't know, that would totally not be, like, a theatrical ending if this was a movie. Like, everyone would probably be pissed off. <laughs> uh... So yeah, I was hoping Mr. Jefferson would be a lot more involved. And he was also done in way too easily. Like, it, you know, it was like the first quarter of this episode he's basically done in. It's only the first quarter of this episode really matters about him. For the most part. And it's like, kind of, I don't know, I just, I didn't really like it. It was like, all was a build-up for kind of nothing in the end. He could have been so much more. I don't know. But I did like these scenes of him. 
for the most part. I thought they highlight his character pretty well, but you know, it's like yes. I don't know. Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our our <sighs> Yeah. But um You're the winner, Max. I choose you. Well, you should you. you should have chosen my fucking time travel abilities too, bitch. You will have the same doe-eyed look Dick. when you wake up here. Doe. <laughs> but what's about to happen. I love that doe, doe reference. I, I just... I can't believe he didn't know what was going on. Like, there were so many hints there, like... And then, right, he's stalking up, right, there was the whole stalking up on this bunker here. You know, you think that'd be in connection with this tornado storm, that's what I thought. And then there was the letter, Nathan's father to Nathan, like, we're gonna change this place up. Things are really gonna change soon. Again, the tornado's coming soon. You think it's all connected, but it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not. <sighs> That's so unfortunate. There's so many connections here that I had in my brain, and it just did not happen. It did not happen. I don't think I was jumping the gun. I don't think I was thinking too far ahead. I don't think I was being some conspiracy theorist. I was not thinking very, very far on this. I was not spending a whole lot of time thinking about it. But while watching it, these were the connections I made. While watching playthroughs of it, while playing through it myself, these were the connections I made. So, I don't know. I have a fairly. I wouldn't say like I'm. I'm I wouldn't say like I'm like fucking the literary a literary genius, but I have a fairly analytical mind for these things, or I try to sometimes. So like I just I don't know. Um, right. So there's gonna be different choices in this. I guess I should probably focus a little bit more on what's going on. I'm I'm, I'm kind of turning this into like a fucking big rant session, which is kind of partly what this let's replay is. It's not really meant to be taken like as a full-on playthrough like the other one. Um, so, uh, by the way, in, th in this save file, I was this was a save file I did a while ago, and I was more of a douchebag in this one <laughs> in the first four episodes. So I probably should kind of be that way in this too. Although I did get a little bit more douchey in my episode 5 playthrough than the other ones. So, already, so, but this might be more so. It definitely will be. There's different choices I'll be making in this, for sure. You... Did I... I, I Go to hell. You will forever did I say that last time? I don't know. Sweet Kate Marsh. I don't believe you. Me neither, buddy. It, you know, me neither. I should have said that last time. I said it in the middle of our playthrough. <laughs> I don't believe in hell. I don't believe in God. I don't believe in any of that shit. But, you know, whatever. Um, Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I did this last time. <laughs> Keep in mind, I, this is my third time playing through episode 5, but the second playthrough was just private, so... That was just... Because I felt like I wasn't focused as much on the story when I was playing through it just blinds, you know, for the Let's Play. So, on the prior playthrough, I, I kind of picked up on more things. And now I really want to talk about this, so... Um, what's he been doing for homework? Well, apparently... Um... Jesus, oh god. I'm gonna be a douchebag. He's as sick as you. Don't judge people, Max. Oh. But that's why Nathan never should have been at Blackwell. Don't judge people. Aren't you judging the people that you abduct and shit? Um. Oh wow, this is different. If you shouldn't have been at Blackwell, you didn't care. That makes two. <laughs> that makes two of you. I hope Nathan realizes vision. So few people get that chance. You brainwashed him. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often. 
teacher-student relationship. It was kind of touching. It was kind of uh, it's very interesting how, like, in these depictions of, like, sociopaths and psychopaths, they always, they always seem to find some kind of emotional connection with certain people in some way. In return, I had access. I'm really interested in, like, what that's about. <laughs> like, I guess the psychology behind that. Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Uh, she was both, you could say. Hmm. That's the real tragedy. No, oh, there's no tragedy here. It was all fun and games. <laughs> See, I might even be more psychopathic than him. I did say I was a sociopath in my YouTube description, everyone. So just relax. God. Um. Chloe and Rachel. I don't know. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. We'll be very declarative in this one. In heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? That's nice. Why? I don't know. Why? Is that what you want to hear? You're the one who said Why? it. Start listening to me. I wasn't thinking it. Cunt. Apparently you were. I'm sorry. Oh, now you think about her cunt. Okay. <laughs> that was not cool. Anyway. No. You should talk to Carlito about that. With no tears, Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so... He spits in the face of people who don't want to be cool, dude. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes, we are. Well, you know, it was a pretty douche move, I'll admit. I don't know if that makes us very sim. I don't know if that necessarily makes us very similar, but uh, yeah, I agree. Like that was a douche move. Yeah, so I actually let more beat Nathan up in this one, because obviously I'm being more of a douche. Douchey douche. Protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my. So why did you in the first place, you dumbass? You That's right, bitch. See, yeah, Max. Look at the fact that you associate with Nathan for fuck's sakes. Why? What was the point? You didn't need to frame him. You could have just gotten away with all that, couldn't you? He had been for so many years. I'm presuming, right? I do love your spirit. All those other models that you had. Those folders, I mean. Models, apparently. <laughs> models. Or who knows if they were models. Some of them maybe were. Was. He was an actual model photographer, after all. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need uh, I can't. God damn, this game can't remember from my other playthrough that I did this already, so that way it could just n make, me, make me skip. Ugh. God. This is bad programming. My God. Sorry. This is not art. Well, I mean, art is subjective, Max. You can't say that. Well, I mean, you can, but it's just your opinion, Max. It's just your opinion, Max. Your opinion. That's like... Your opinion, Max. Mad Max. Max Man. Man Max. Man Max? No. That sounds stupid. How's it going, Jefferson? That's your... That. Yes, it is. You're an idiot. Alright, let's go back. Enough of this bitch. Oh, boy. Hello. Alright, buddy. Come on. Please. Let's get this over with. Mr. Jefferson. Max. This is a very dialogue-heavy part. Shop, but I really There's not a whole lot to do at this point. Just make a few dialogue choices, and that's basically it. I think our session Which is not bad. It's a really good story-developing part where you can talk to him and shit. Although, I feel like he should... Re he doesn't reveal... Enough. Like, honestly... There should have been a more complex angle to him. I'm gonna keep going back to this, because it bothers me. It fucking bothers the hell out of me that they screwed this up so badly. But, in my opinion. Uh, show me the photos. What are you gonna... Oh, I don't... Oh, did I not pick the right dialogue choices for... Oh. Oh my. Let me go. Let me go and I'll help you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you think he's gonna believe that? Never beg. Whoa, why do you have a problem with begging? I hate begging. Why? Anyway. Why though? Why? Before 
Tell me why. Why? Do you have mommy issues? I'm sorry, I don't want to associate Jefferson with that. <laughs> He's cooler than that. But, what we will do is we'll go back further. Unfortunately, come on. Oh my god, yeah, the high-pitched speed shit. Okay, so... This is kind of screwed up because... Show me the photos. Could you... Could you show me their photos? That's the first time one of my models down here has asked me that. Okay. Of course you would. But I love... Well, they're, they're probably not that interested in seeing their photos, usually, and they're probably not a time traveler like me. So you're gonna give me the photo then? But of course he doesn't. I, I don't. So I don't get why you said that. But uh, cause he said the uh, last thing he wants me to see is him, is myself through his camera, I, which would mean like the photo because it's coming from his camera. It's the only way I could ever see myself. Okay. Wait. Unless he means literally like the last thing. So. Did I screw up somewhere? Um... Cause... why is... Oh, do I have to actually look at... Hold on. <sighs> I think I know what I did wrong. I have, you better ask him something else. <laughs> oh wow, that's what it took. Fuck sakes. Alright. So it's probably a good thing I was ex more exploratory last time. That might actually be the death of me in this one, because... Obviously I know what's happening, so I kind of want to brush through everything as I talk, and I'm not paying full attention. And I probably should... I don't know. I don't know how... I'm, I wasn't sure I was going to take this playthrough entirely, but... Let's lost replay. Oh, thank God. I would have been so embarrassed. I know I said that last time. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much. Oh, come on. I bet you fapped to it at least seven times today. Don't lie to me. Bitch. Asshole. Whatever. Let's look at this shit. Look at this shit. Alright. Alright. So. Oh. Oh shit, come on. What? There we go. God! I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. Oh. Shit, we're already here. Okay, yeah. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photograph. Right back where I started this insane week. And this is what I'm talking about when it was way too easy to do him in. We're like, I mean, are we even really a quarter? We're not even a quarter through. We're not even a quarter through yet. I mean, really. We're like maybe halfway to a quarter <laughs> through. No, I don't, you fucking asshole. Don't doing that teacher shit. I know that shit, man. I've been in school. Um. Who cares? Who cares? This class is hella bullshit. <laughs> you didn't say that. <laughs> Sorry, there's no time left. I mean, your class is almost over. Well, that means there's time left, you stupid. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. I mean, if there's no time left, the class would so, be over. The Daguerrean process <laughs> made portraiture quite popular. Mainly because it gave wow. the subjects clear to find features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. Clearly, Max doesn't have the uh, time. <laughs> guys, oh. Oh, believe me, dude, you have no idea how much time I do have. Unfortunately, you don't have any. <laughs> Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max. 
Whoa, why is he- his gaze is so fucking weird there. I don't know if you see that. Like, what the hell? Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 your typical bullshit, I go. I know, I know. So we don't need to see all that shit again. Uh, what about my cell phone? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, through here. Sorry, I'm just drinking a bit. So David Madsen. And it's so easy. All we really had to do was phone David, tell him pretty much exactly what we knew. Like, I mean, I get that that could be enough for someone... That could be enough for someone. He's, that could conceivably be enough for someone who wants to break the law and just kind of. Because by the way, David was breaking the law, like when he searched his place. Like, I mean, I don't think getting a tip off that is justification. He's not even an officer. So what? For once, David. Did you not get in some kind of trouble for that? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Same realistic. Realistically, I mean, I know cops get away with a lot of shit, but you know, like. <laughs> Your his work room is under the Prescott. See, you know what I mean? Like, so simple. Just a few sentences. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. That's all it took. So maybe Max, why are you so bitter? Gosh, she turns such a bitter bitch at this point. I mean, You'll be going to seriously, why was she being such a bitch? He gave you a nice photo op. You have no right to be a bitch like that, Max. Am I pushing myself too hard? Max will make me smack you. If I was in this game, I would smack you right now. It doesn't matter what happens. Cross the face. This fancy camera does not give you any extra talent, Victoria, or excuses. Oh god, I'm going to be a dick you to Victoria now. Hurt Kate Marsh this time. Should I completely ignore Kate? Cuz that seems to be the way to go this time. Uh Well, I guess I can always fast I can always rewind and then ignore her. <laughs> Listen to me. I am. Always yeah, why did what made you think she was an idiot? I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. Yeah, well we No, they don't. A lot of them hate you. They were cheering for you jumping off the building. Happened. Sorry. That makes me feel so Just the cold hard truth. Well, it's not really cold or hard I to me, but to I thought okay. it was fun. I was one of them. Maybe so why? like maybe we could both use a hug. Aw. Oh, Aw, oh, isn't that just so cute? You Your hair just morphing into my neck. That's okay. That can happen. In reality. Um, I'm gonna take a picture- Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of you and make fun of you. Make you cry and then go kill yourself again. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? I'm gonna blog about you on my Twitter and Facebook and Tumblr and tell you how much of a bitch you are. Or talk about how much of a bitch you are. Right, we didn't go through all of these. I don't know if I actually went through all of these last... Because I think I really kind of... Kind of, like, forgot. Uh, I missed out on all this. It's hard to keep track of, you know. It's like... Most people don't do this shit. I at least give you the details, everyone. I think that I think that I think that owes me some some respect, you know, some gratitude, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I already showed you everyone's thing in the let's play, so and yeah, let's see, photos, whatever. Right, I didn't I didn't right, this is my this is my second save file, so I didn't bother taking pictures really. So Oh no wait, that was that's episode five, I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I did bother somewhat. Um, anyway, okay, whatever. Who cares what those people think? They're idiots. Um, actually, what does Dad think? Okay, Dad's an idiot. Said nothing. Doesn't care about me. Mom doesn't care about me either. All right. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see? No, we don't. Mr. Jefferson now? I could easily just not talk to you. No. Oh gosh! Here we go, oh. cat fight. What's going on? Are you okay, Max? Not until Victoria knows. 
that hiding behind a screen and posting videos Hey Max, you're the one to talk, bitch. I'm pretty sure I took a photo of Victoria and made fun of her in this in this save file, so Max is really not one to talk. <laughs> well, maybe you should apply that same thing into yourself too, Max. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just I'm going to piss everyone off in this one. Oh, no shit. Victoria's pro. I don't no, Vic Victoria's pro. She's like she's she just. Did, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. I sure hope so. She's a spoiled rich bitch, and that's cool. I'm not going to Get in her league, Max. Fuck you. Why? Why would you enjoy it? Well, Here's my photograph oh, whatever. For everyday heroes I guess you are like judgmental of all these teens, oh, okay. Jefferson. That was easy. No. The way he says that. Do you see the way he says that was easy? Does that not remind you of the fucking that the the easy button that guy? It totally reminds you of that voice, doesn't it? That always sounded so weird to me. The first time I heard it, I was like, "What the hell? That did not sound like Jefferson. What the hell? What the hell? You know? What the hell? Or guilty? <gasps> oh my god! I ever predicted it. That's so cool. Maybe both of us will be jet setting what is jet setting? What is that? What does that mean? Use words I understand, idiot. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. Because you're going to find out. Unfortunately, you had no idea. You really had no freaking idea. Unless you did have an idea and you just chose to let it happen. That would be kind of stupid. I don't know why you would do that, but... 